Based at Lancaster University, InfoLab 21 is an award-winning international centre of excellence for research in information and communication technologies, or ICT. One of their latest initiatives for Northwest SMEs is ISIS, or InfoLab 21's Strategic Innovation Support Programme. ISIS provides free transformational ICT support, such as implementing ICT to change business processes and operations to create improvements that could not happen otherwise. For example, maximizing the benefits of ICT to increase productivity, create new business models, increase resource efficiency, or support innovation and exploit new markets. ISIS aims to raise levels of ICT investment across the region by working with businesses to break down barriers and promote ICT products and services. ISIS is the first project of its kind in the UK. InfoLab 21's role is to act as a technology translator, providing impartial advice from ICT specialists, promoting the benefits of ICT and transferring knowledge and understanding of ICT. Support is provided when a business does not have the resource to invest in a bespoke solution, needs to raise their confidence in the benefits before investing in ICT, or where there is not a readily available off-the-shelf solution. Support covers six key areas. Prototype development, mobile and wireless technologies, software development, ICT strategies, audits and infrastructure development, research into new technologies, and web applications. InfoLab 21 has strong links with regional, digital and creative companies, and in some cases the project staff will collaborate with a commercial provider so a cost barrier is reduced. For the ISIS programme, support is mainly delivered through the InfoLab 21 Graduate Academy and the InfoLab 21 Student Academy, depending on the type and complexity of the ICT solution each business needs. The two academies allow InfoLab 21 to offer a wide range of knowledge and skills in a flexible way to benefit businesses throughout the region. The academies are unique models of technology transfer and have been very successful. Previous graduates have gained invaluable experience and gone on to work for Auto Trader, Hewlett Packard, and IBM, as well as regional businesses. The InfoLab 21 Student Academy is the arm of the Knowledge Business Center that basically engages in activities that relate to technology transfer and knowledge exchange with small and medium sized enterprises around the Northwest region of the country. Now we engage with businesses in two main ways. One is through an assess program that's with the undergrads, master students and PhD students from the other side of the building. And the second way is with the same same students but through a paid activity that they do with us or through a work placement voluntary activity that they do with us. Now the InfoLab 21 Student Academy has benefited businesses around the Northwest through the access that they have had to the extensive knowledge base that we offer them here. Now we've got students who are only starting their undergrad degrees and are gaining access to different uh, opportunities here in the learning environment. And we've got to, at the other end of the spectrum the PhD students who have been with us for a long time and have a whole range of specialist knowledge in certain areas. Now we give business around the Northwest an opportunity to tap into this whole broad range of experience we've got here to either get some cost savings to be able to introduce new products into the market, to be able to have some uh, efficiencies that we introduce into the business that, that they do. We are able to give them opportunities to work with us and test before they buy, so to speak with the students that we've got here. The InfoLab 21 Student Academy also has its own full-time consultancy team of PhD students. One of the businesses I've been involved with is a renewable energy use company uh, who installs solar panel systems um, onto the roofs of businesses in the northwest. 
Um, I was involved in creating a web presence for them so that uh, interested clients might be able to get involved and uh, find out the, the schemes that are available and how, to, how much money it might cost them. Um, prior to the web presence being uh, up and running, they would have to contact the company by telephone and have a, a quote made up for them using spreadsheets manually, which would take time for the people within the company to do. Um, and also, it wasn't ideal for the, the clients as they, they had to spend time on the telephone and wait to get an answer back. As part of the web presence, I created a bespoke page which allowed people to type in the details of the kind of roof space they had available um, and get an instant answer of how much money they might be able to make this way, which obviously increased interest from clients as they were able to get an instant answer as to whether it was something they might be able to do in the future. Um, it was an interesting thing from my perspective as a computer scientist, as a web technology is something that I enjoy doing. Um, and also, it allowed me to take ownership of the project from the beginning right through to its conclusion and deal with all the time management and working with people. Um, it was very good for my CV. Simply Good Taste is run by chef Peter Sidwell. Peter has published a number of cookery books and hosted a successful cookery programme on Channel 4 called Lakes on a Plate. Good Taste contacted the Knowledge Business Centre at InfoLab 21 to produce an iPhone and iPad application that was easy to update and maintain. The idea was to release applications quarterly throughout the year, each containing 20 recipes. The apps would be available to purchase through App Store. I contacted Business Link for some assistance with my iPhone app idea to deliver recipe content in the visual form, text form and video format. I also wanted to be able to embrace modern technology and marketing and that was using Twitter and Facebook. And InfoLab 21 were able to help me go through exactly what I needed for my business plan and deliver it. The way the process worked was once we'd done an appraisal and we worked out whether InfoLab could help me or not, we sat down around a table, I showed them apps that I felt delivered the right kind of content in the right way, but then I wanted them to fuse that together with recipes and video content. We also then looked at bolting on uh, social networking, uh, email, marketing, embracing everything about the mobile phone technology and trying to work a way out that we could use that with recipes. InfoLab 21 developed a core recipe control application that allows users to select a recipe from a list of images. The application then displays the recipe text with video ready for playback. The way the ISIS program has changed the way I do business is it's freed me up to create more employment so that I can spend more time in the studio delivering my message and my content to a global market. And by doing this, it's also introduced a new type of business to an area that historically is tourism driven. It's now we're trying to embrace a little bit more of the IT technology and bring that industry to the Northwest. Simply Good Taste is planning to re-release apps over the next few years with different recipes added. These will be seasonal and feature suggestions for special occasions such as Christmas and Easter. They also intend to release new apps to coincide with books as Peter releases them in the future. Safety Management UK is based in Burton and Kendall, Lancashire and specialises in fire risk assessments and training for clients throughout the UK. The company was established in 2002 and now has over 50 office staff, trainers and assessors. Prior to the assistance provided by InfoLab 21's ISIS programme, each of Safety Management UK's fire risk assessors would carry out assessments on site by taking handwritten notes. It was lengthy and time-consuming, with no continuity. We were looking for a system that would allow our assessors to complete fire risk assessments on site and in real time, rather than making notes and going home and typing them up. We heard about the ISIS project through the LEAD project at Lancaster University. We met with the guys from the InfoLab 21 business development team to discuss possible solutions to our problem. At our initial meeting, we discussed the possibility of a PDA-based and a web-based solution to our problem. We decided to go with a web-based solution as we felt it best suited the needs of our users. We worked with the guys from InfoLab 21 to refine and test the product through development up until its launch in summer 2010. 
The new process is now fully integrated and starts with job creation through to assessment completion by an assessor. The application can be accessed via a web-enabled mobile device, a laptop or any standard computer at work or home. The online form exactly replicates the paper version of the assessment form, meeting national regulation body standards and ensuring no loss of quality or continuity errors as a result of the adoption of the new system. Financially, we wouldn't have been able to do this without the support of the ISIS project. We were really pleased with the outcome of the project and it was great working with the guys from InfoLab 21. The outcome of the project is that assessors are now able to complete reports in real time, thus saving admin time and passing on the cost saving to the customer. This also ensures consistency of formatting across the board with regard to all reports. Based in Clitheroe in Lancashire, the Paper Cup Company has more than 30 years experience in the disposable cup market. The Paper Cup Company found out about ISIS as part of their strong ongoing relationship with InfoLab 21. The company continues to see a high volume of sales and orders through its e-commerce website, supplied under a previous InfoLab 21 project. The company wanted to be the first in its sector to have a web system that allowed clients to customise their cup design online. Our idea was that customers could design their paper cups online and see a 3D model of that cup. They could also then make changes to that cup very, very quickly to bring their project to fruition. In converse to that, they would send their designs through to our design studio where they would then be put onto a flat artwork and emailed through to the customer. Any changes they wanted would then take a lot longer than it would do if they did it on designercup.com. We were recommended by Business Link and from that recommendation we were visited by Stuart, the project manager for ISIS, who was accompanied by Ricardo who was going to write the software. At that meeting we agreed the outlines of the project and from that point onwards, Ricardo was sending us samples of what that product was going to look like. And we were then able to tweak it until we arrived at the final version. The finished system enables any user to customise a virtual paper cup by designing it on a rectangular drawing space. They can start with a blank page or utilise the templates provided. The user can then upload their images to use in the final design. When the design is completed, it is rendered as a three-dimensional image that the user can then view. Once the customer is satisfied with their design, a brief is sent automatically to the paper cup company for a quote. When we started the project, we were employing four people. Today, we employ seven people. We're, our turnover is up 42% year on year, and we're now the only company in the world to enable you to design your paper cup online. The ISIS project can assist SMEs based anywhere in the Northwest, including Cumbria, Lancashire, Cheshire, Warrington, Greater Manchester, and Merseyside. Support is limited due to funding, but InfoLab 21 welcomes applications from companies who have identified an ICT need and employ less than 250 people. Most sectors are eligible, but the project has a specific focus on the following high growth sectors. Biochemicals, food and drink, energy and environmental technology, advanced engineering, financial and professional services, and digital and creative industries. To find out whether your business can benefit from the ISIS programme, and InfoLab 21's other services for business, please visit the website for further information. Music